I came to the U.S. with my family in 1975 as refugees from the Vietnam War. What I'm very aware of, I've been very aware of throughout my life, is that I inhabit a racialized body. And it comes with it a history that is <laughs> Far-ranging, not my own, maybe, but I still embody it. The U.S. government had in place the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, which is really the first time that the federal government had a law that kept a particular racial group from immigrating to the United States. After this, this long history of keeping Asians out of the United States, um, essentially decided that they were going to let some Asians, but in particular those with a science background, those with medical degrees, engineering degrees. So it was a very selected, very elite group that entered into the United States, but then also, of course, after the Vietnam War, there were the refugees who came. So there, like it or not, there became this diversity of educational levels, of social economic levels. And to me, we add to the United States, we add to the strength of the United States.